This is Dr. Chris Doherty. Here we're going to cover the repair of an oblique or parrot beak type tear with the Novo Stitch Plus. Here we're looking at the middle one third of the medial meniscus. This tear has a pretty complex pattern. You can see the little parrot beak, but it splits all the way back to the red red zone. If we don't repair this and simply debride it, this extremely young patient is going to have a meniscally deficient knee and progress to OA. So what we're going to do is determine the angle that we need to be at. We can see probing from the medial portal that we don't have the optimum angle to place our sutures. So we'll switch over visualizing medially and we'll plan on bringing our probe in from the lateral portal. And you can see once I come over I've got a much better angle for attacking this tear. So you can see how complex this tear is. We're going to place our first stitch posteriorly and this is simply so I can aid my own visualization. So I'll get one posteriorly and then I'll move over and get another stitch anteriorly. On some of these smaller anterior lips it can be a little difficult to get the stitch right where you want it so I'm actually more concentrating on my lower jaw as opposed to the laser marks trying to make sure that I get to deploy right into the parrot beak and here you can see we're successful in doing so. So now we'll go ahead and tie our initial stitch and this is re approximate our margin in our white white and red white zones. You can see we can close on that tear very nicely there. You can still see residual tear though so we know we're going to have to pass another suture. So once we lock this in place we'll bring in another stitch here passing much deeper trying to get in that meniscal capsular junction. And I'm also moving a little bit more posterior because there was more tear volume posteriorly than was originally appreciated from the medial portal probing but we could see from the lateral portal. So here we're now passing anteriorly along our meniscal capsular junction and this will give us a stitch that will close down that remaining aspect of the tear and approximate it back to the capsular margin. So here we come in and we'll go ahead and tie the stitch and you can see how we just close down the remaining part of that tear. Now in this case I'm left with a little piece on that white white zone I'm afraid that that might become a problem, so I'm going to bring a basket resector in and just clip that tiny, tiny free edge, taking great care not to violate the rest of my repair construct. So we got this tied down nicely. Again, I'll use a sliding west and knot lock, and I back it up with alternating half hitches. I feel this gives me the most secure repair I can achieve. Then I'm going to nip that little free edge right there. Should be noted, it did trephinate this meniscus prior to repair.